Hi everyone, it is not Monday but Tuesday, September 21st. Um, just a few words from me in Santiago. Um, the weather's been kind of, it's it's fall, fall has come. Uh, it's kind of sunny during the day. Uh, we had a few days of rain. Uh, last week we had quite a bit of rain off and on. It was not like continuous, but off and on. And uh, now it's kind of sunny, but uh, as soon as you step out of the sun, it's uh, a little bit chilly. So typical fall weather. Um, virus wise, uh, things are looking good. This is the famous graph that I always show. It's been up, hasn't been up. This graph hasn't been updated um, since I think Friday the 16th. But I saw the number, so this shows 96 as the number of K new cases per 100,000 inhabitants over the last two weeks. Uh, the number as that was reported yesterday, on Monday, was is 86. So it keeps going down. And if you look at the number, you know, we're not the lowest part we were at uh, before the fifth wave was 95. Before the fourth wave, we were. 128 so we haven't been as low as this since the end in August in 2020 so it's it's been we're in, I think we're in a good spot now virus wise um, mask wise I think people are also feeling comfortable we have vaccinated everyone down to 12 at least they've been giving the invitation I saw a number in Galicia 90% uh, of people over 12, those are the ones that have been offered the vaccine, has been vaccinated. So that's 90%. That's in Galicia. It's, I'm sure it's a bit different in Spain, but it's more or less, I'm thinking it's more or less the same in Spain. So so we're in, I think we're in a good spot. Uh, of course, school has started and uh, fall and winter is coming, so let's see what that does to everything. But anyway, uh, what else? Uh, in in uh, I was trying to find the numbers for for Galicia, but um, it's it's the same it's the same as Spain more or less. I would guess we could see the number here on this this uh, map. Ninety seven is the number in Galicia. That's new cases per one hundred thousand inhabitants over the last two weeks. Uh, this is from the fifteenth, so this is also a few years old. So as you can see Asturias is doing really well, 35, that's very low. So anyway, it's, it's the same as last week, pretty much. It's the same trend, we're doing better, which is nice. Uh, especially now, we're, since we're already at such a low level. Pilgrim-wise, uh, Pilgrim's still coming into town, it's a little bit less. And you can see the numbers from yesterday is 1182. Got their Compostela's yesterday, I think last week. It was what 13 1400 a day so yeah it's a little bit less i know there's a lot of uh, a lot of you people from outside of spain that are walking right now because i could see that in my luggage storage service that i see a lot of boxes coming in now uh, and i'm thinking that's probably going to be true for the next i'm going to get a lot of boxes for the next week or two and then it's going to stop because people have then uh, started walking uh, so i'm thinking three four weeks from now it's going to be busy with uh, foreigners in Santiago again and then the season kind of ends a little bit um, but of course next year I think is going to be if we can stay good uh, virus wise I think next year could be very very busy I was outside just to get a little bit of a, an idea give you an idea of what things looks like outside I was going to actually record from the square today but it was so busy and so crowded I decided not to because and it was windy. It's a little bit windy too, so I know with my microphone it gets um, a lot of noise on the wind on the microphone from the wind. So anyway, I decided to walk down uh, towards the square. This is about 12:30. So this is about uh, 40 minutes ago. Uh, so you could see most people wear masks. Uh, about half, I think, in Santiago are wearing masks right now, and I think it's I think it's fine. Uh, you don't have to wear a mask outside unless uh, if you can keep a meter and a half to the next person and usually you could do that so anyway 
here we have to the right we have the people selling the souvenirs that used to be on the square they've been kicked off the square now but they're not allowed to be on the square so they have uh, these these are two new positions that they are allowed to sit and sell their souvenirs the bagpiper is there but he was not playing when I was walking by so you missed that I'm sure a lot of you remember the bagpiper welcoming you when you arrive into Santiago and onto the square we still have some tourists, uh, but most of them are Spaniards and most of them have gone back home in February. And you can see this street looks kind of busy and the square you'll see too is it's kind of busy. But if you walk a few streets away from the cathedral, it's, it's a totally different story. It's much, much quieter. But looking at this, you might think uh, that Santiago is packed right now and it, there's a lot of people here. but as I said, if you move a few streets away from the cathedral, it gets quite quiet quite fast. Uh, in some days, we actually have had a few. We used to have, before COVID, we used to have um, cruise ships coming into Vigo and to Coruña. And they would bus people down from the cruise ships to do a day trip in Santiago. And I have a feeling that some of these people, some of these groups you see on the square behind me that you saw on the right there, uh, might come from one of these cruise ships. Otherwise pilgrims just relaxing after arriving, enjoying the view, backpacker styling up again. So uh, yeah, as you can see the weather is nice. Um, as I said, a little bit chilly, but uh, that's what it, that's what September is like. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, talk to you next week. Stay safe. Ciao.